Yeah, well, to me, um, it was kind of unexpected when I uh, joined this 21-day program. But it was truly a, uh, a life-changing experience to me. I didn't expect to have so much impact. But I can only advise anybody that don't delay it. I mean, for myself, I wish I would have done this much, much earlier. Because it gives you so much better and new insight of how you actually should live your life and how you can still change your life. I hope it's not too late. What such a training an ordination program can do to you. When we did this program, I see that actually there are three main components, if you will, the way I, I looked at it. I mean, we Firstly, we're taught how to, and we're trained how to improve the meditation. And uh, guess what? I thought that I knew a bit of meditation, but I learned very quickly that uh, there's still so much more to learn and there's so much more in depth that you can go and so much more wisdom that you can get out of meditation that I very much look forward to the journey to improve myself and to enhance in that, in, 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 in that journey of, of learning more meditation. The second uh, component that we were blessed with is to truly live the life of a monk. And we were blessed with uh, an enormous group of very senior teaching monks that were with us for the entire duration of the program. And we were taught the rules of the monk, the way you should live and the way you should appreciate things and the way you should be mindful for every, in, a, in, in a monk's life. Everything that they do and everything that they that they practice has a purpose and has a meaning. It's unbelievable. There's nothing that doesn't have a purpose or a meaning. And if you get to experience that and live that, it is just amazing what by, by living by the priest, not only the precepts, but just by living mindfully the way a monk does, there's a lot that you get out of that. I mean, we, we were able to see the example of senior monks of how they communicate among themselves and how they and how they live and how uh, respectful they are and I mean a monk that would never judge you he would never criticize he would never say talk or correct you and it's like mind it's it's it's, it's, it's mind-boggling how that well, how that affects you that you can see and learn how people can live together so I will take a lot of that back in trying to just be a little bit of a good monk compared to what we were taught. The third component that I witnessed that we were blessed with was to learn the wisdom of the Buddha teaching. And we also, there again, we had some very senior monks that, that taught us about the, uh, the sutras and about uh, Buddha's wisdom and what you get out of that and really going in, in depth about the, the teachings. Um, so those, those, those three components combined give you an amazing, uh, amazing training. 
uh, of how you can uh, change your life. First of all, the setting. I mean, for anybody who wants to do this, the fact that you're doing that in the country. I mean, of course, Buddha was born and raised in India, but in today's world, the Buddhist country globally is Thailand. I mean, the whole country uh, uh, breathes uh, Buddhism and the whole Thai culture is, is so intertwined with Buddhism. I, I cannot imagine a better country to do this than Thailand. Secondly, the or or organizers of this program, they put together for us a program which was, was amazing. We were blessed to do a first part of the program in a, in a tented camp in a pine forest where we learned the rules of being a monk. Then we got ordained in an amazing, beautiful temple in, in, in Hot, which is a, pr a district of Chiang Mai. We went on to Pai up in the hills where it was a beautiful meditation center. We, then went further into a, a magical place, which is basically just a wooden hut in the, in the mountains where we stayed for a long period of time just meditating and, and living the life. So that whole experience and that whole setting and that whole uh, ambiance is something that is already uh, by itself already an, 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 an amazing experience. <music> The following morning we went for our first day, we went for a alms round and that to me was very, very emotional where you just experience the, the Thai culture of really very, very uh, poor people who um, just give what they have to the monks that go for their morning alms rounds and it's, I can tell you a whole story just separate on that one topic alone how imp impressive that is. We went on a on a monk, uh, what they call a monk pilgrimage, the uh, Tudong, where you go and you walk uh, mindfully through rice paddies, through fields, uh, through the villages to another temple. That is an, another experience. I mean, it was it was one after the other. I kept on telling the organizer, "What's the next surprise? <laughs> what we're we gonna get?" It. It is something that um, I can recommend that anybody, uh, besides the um, opportunity to learn about meditation, because that's the core essence of this whole program, is how can you meditate. But the, the fact that in addition to that, you can experience Thai Buddhism in the Thai culture, in the Thai country, you can experience the wisdom, you can experience the monk life, all that combined together, um, I 
said in the beginning, it's a life-changing, once in a lifetime, a life-changing experience. So I can highly recommend um, to anybody, don't wait, uh, do it. Don't think that you don't have time or that you cannot, you know, with work or with family that you think that, no. Do this and you'll be amazed what you can get out of it. So to be highly recommended for any listener, any viewer, uh, and to look at the ordination programs that they offer and see how you can, nah, maybe, I'm not saying you can become a better monk, but let's, let's first start to become a better person. I think that's already good enough. <laughs>